Hey everybody, I'm Katie Funabashi. I'm part of the Special Olympics Chicago Special Children's Charity Associate Board. I've been part of the Associate Board since June 2020. It's a really great group of young professionals in Chicago. We all spend our time volunteering and fundraising for all the athletes that we know and love. We're here today at Adventure Day and it's been a blast so far. I've been here with Jack and we're helping out with archery. I know there's also hiking, bird watching, and fishing, along with arts and crafts and some face painting. So it's been a really great time. We've seen tons of athletes and their families and teams come through. So highly encourage any of you guys to come out to Northerly Island this summer to spend some time having fun with all your Special Olympics friends. So we do offer archery, um, it's a fun sport. We offer it throughout the year, um, once a week. Um, and our families are able to come out with their athletes and just have like a fun day of archery. Um, typically we offer it inside for like winter or spring. And then when it takes like, summer, fall, we are outside doing it. So it's just a great opportunity for families to experience something new and different. gonna do some good old biking which I've never which I've never done before on North Ruby Island. Oh and the important thing is you gotta wear your helmet just to be safe. You know what I'm saying? I wanna shout out to my family and uh, my friends Thank and you. everyone. <laughs> Great job! In here we'll see who can set up the tent the fastest and we're also gonna show them how to build a fire and a couple different different ways to do that. I'll roast some marshmallows and just you know en enjoy a good day camping at North Little Island, right? Right. Sure. There's a hammer but a little bit hammer. These poles that's attached to the tent on, on this tent. 
um, and then you just clip them in at each of the silver parts, and then you, uh, you clip them on, that helps pop up the tent, and then you put the other side of the pole in the bottom, and that's pretty much as simple as it, it can get. Teamwork makes the dream work. No bugs bites. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Oh, that's definitely not no. Are you a big camper, Avery? Well, yes, I did. I was awesome. Yeah, I've been camping a handful of times. They are roasting marshmallows over there. They can can eat it, and it's not. It was good. We're doing some plain old, whatever the heck this is. Uh, uh, yeah, thank you, Brian. Kayaking, which I've never done before. At first, I thought it's gonna be scary, but hey, I ain't scared. I think it's gonna be less fun, you know? I'm gonna have a good one for and my name is Brianna Lee, and I like to hike, and I like to kayak, and, and I like to do everything. I'm William Tang. Welcome to Special Olympics Chicago. I'm here with Jack D'Arienzo <laughs> with the Special Olympics Associate Board Member. Welcome, Matt. Thank you very much for having me. Very happy to be here. Tell our audience what is the this event for for today. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Well, first off, this is an amazing studio and very happy to be here. But uh, I'm here as a part of the Special Olympics Associate Board to promote an event that we're putting on next month. Uh, on June 23rd, uh, Special Olympics Chicago Associate Board uh, is going to be putting on an event at the White Sox game, uh, which should be you know, a really fun community event uh, you know, for everyone involved. I see that you didn't wear your socks, <laughs> sock stuff today. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I, I do apologize. So yesterday I, uh, I went shopping and uh, I wanted to get a brand new White Sox shirt, wanted to look all fresh, you know, for my big, you know, can TV debut. Uh, and then this morning I go to put on the shirt 
and I realized I didn't buy an adult shirt, I bought a children's shirt. And <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I thought it would have been, you know, if, if it was anywhere else, you know, like walking around, I may have gotten away with it, but uh, it was just, you know, not not good enough to be shown on, uh, on, on yes, Can TV. So for that, I am very sorry. For, That's uh, okay, but can you tell me, us, all the, our audience, what about yourself right now? Yeah, for sure, absolutely. I'm so sorry. No, 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 Go it's ahead. totally fine, yeah. So my name is Jack DiRienzo. Um, very long last name, very Italian. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, but I'm from Lyle, Illinois, which okay. is about 40 minutes west of the city. Uh, I'm 24 years old, and I currently live in the North Neighborhoods, Lakeview East, with uh, three other roommates. Uh, I've been on the associate board since about March of 2022, uh, and with that, I've had you know a ton of fun doing stuff like you know virtual trivia, uh, virtual bingo, uh, organizing you know a polar plunge team, uh, you know being a part you know of all the meetings, and you know now I get to be a part of this uh, amazing fundraiser that we're putting on with the White Sox. Okay, so how do you um, can you tell our audience why we put this event for the Chicago White Sox? Um, the special sorry, special children's charities this event. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure, absolutely. So this is our second year putting on the event, but essentially what we want to do is we want to create a really fun, you know, event during the summer, mm -hmm. uh, not only for the athletes but everybody that's involved with Special Olympics Chicago mm -hmm. and Special Children's Charities. So you know the athletes, uh, their families, uh, you know all the people that support them, coaches. Uh, additionally, uh, you know, the associate board, we want everyone to come, bring their friends as well, you know, and just kind of have a really nice, you know, summer event uh, at the Sox game to, um, you know, just, just kind of celebrate the summer. And, you know, again, I can't emphasize it enough. We want to invite as many people as possible, right? There's no shortage of tickets. Uh, and then additionally, on top of getting entrance into the park, we're also going to be having a tailgate beforehand uh, where ideally there's going to be some food, you know, some games, music. A really nice gathering. So uh, how, so it's uh, the other. So how do you like to being, uh, like a who's your favorite team? My favorite team. I know. Obviously, it's the Chicago White Sox. Ah, <laughs> yay! <laughs> so how how do you like it? Because. Uh, the Chicago White Sox, my favorite home team that I know everybody from there. But, uh -huh. but when I was there, when at first I lived in Bridgeford, and I did not know which team should I root for. But now, <laughs> but now I move and I said, oh, I'm going to go see the game and I'm going to see the game. I said, then I went to see the, the Boys and Girls Club one uh -huh. time. And I went to see the one now. The first time I went to the Cubs game. Oh, <laughs> that's my first time. And I said, "Oh, let me try to go and see the Cubs game." Yeah, definitely. And see it happening. Yeah, very cool. So it seems like you've been to a, a a couple of Sox games then. Yeah, and it's close to your neighborhood as well. Yes. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Well, yeah. I don't know if the cameras can see this, but I believe there's a custom jersey that you're wearing. Yes, it you is. Know? So see? I know. I know. I'm not wearing any white socks. That's fine. But, but this see? is a custom jersey. That is very cool. I'm a very big fan of that jersey. Yeah, you're right. You like it a lot, then. That's why, that's why we, and then I got this custom made since for my 30th birthday at Connie. Oh, that's so cool. That's they awesome. Have that's it. a great so gift. So that's why I said, oh, let me wear this today. Just, uh, just to you know, say it again, uh, the event is going to be uh, on Thursday, June 23rd. Uh, the tailgate's going to be going around from about 5.30 to 7, and then the game's going to be starting around 7.00. So, you know, again, we want to have as many people as possible to come, you know, really just have a really fun time. Are you going to be at the game? I hopefully, if I could take my day off. We'll see. I'm going to try to make sure that we can make that happen. I'm going to see if I can <laughs> have a day off with my work and stuff. So what other events are the associate board during, doing this year? Yeah, for sure. That's a great question. So the associate board is all about... Uh, enabling and creating more opportunities for special children's charities and Special Olympic Chicago. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, a lot of the events that we put on, you know, kind of uh, line up with that. Not only do we try doing, you know, different volunteer events throughout the years uh, and, you know, kind of being a part with the athletes, but some events that we, you know, personally put on uh, not only include this White Sox game, uh, we have our very own Polar Plunge team. Uh, we are very active in the Chicago mm -hmm. Marathon. 
uh, we also have an event with, um, you know, a volleyball event that's coming up at, towards the end of summer uh, and later this fall. So, um, you know, not only are we always trying to come up with new ideas, but we have some, you know, good events that we already have laid out to, uh, to you know, kind of help, help support SOC and SCC. Thank you. How many members on the board? We're Jack? Yeah, definitely. Go ahead. So uh, on the main board, uh, we're currently at about 24 members. Uh, so that's the main associate board. And then we also have friends of the board, which is a larger group of people that, um, you know, maybe they're not able to attend the meetings or stuff like that, but they want to know what events we're still putting on. So we email them and reach out to them. Mm -hmm. um, and then additionally, on top of the 24 members, we're always looking to grow, right? So anyone that's interested in learning more, um, you know, we have uh, our own, you know, social media sites. So we're available on, you know, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn, and then additionally, uh, we can be found on the SOC SCC website. Okay. How often do you meet? Yeah, so typically the General Assembly, the main 24 of us, we try meeting about once a month. And then as we do events and stuff like this, you know, the different subcommittees that we work on, uh, we typically meet, you know, I'd probably say, you know, twice a month outside of those big meetings. So, so, so how long is the meetings going to be long? Hmm, well, typically... Sorry. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 that's a great question. Uh, so typically... Uh, the meeting itself, the business itself, is about an hour long. But, you know, we're very much so happy to be hanging out with each other as well. So we'll probably be there for two hours, you know, just kind of talking and having a good time. But when it's time to get down to business, we probably talk about business for about an hour. All right. I would like to thank Jack DiLorenzio for coming today. See you next time. Welcome back to our show. My name is Carter Sanders, and you're watching Special Olympics Chicago Sports on Can TV. It is now the month of June, and spring games are now a beautiful memory with heat and all. I hope you were at Soldier Field for our opening ceremonies on May 5th. The crowd was smaller than the last time we opened there in 2019, but I guarantee the enthusiasm of the crowd was as strong as ever. The parade of athletes was absolutely joyful and warmed our spirits enough to keep our thoughts off the cold. Thanks to all the volunteers who honored our athletes that day. Highlights included the recognition of Special Olympics Chicago athletes who will compete in national games in Orlando in June. A performance by the Ray Graham drumline a performance by the Jesse White Trumblers, the City White Park Special Rec Talent winners from McGuane Park, the entire student body from Hope Academy who came out to cheer our athletes every step of the way. And that's just a few of the highlights that you, I hope you enjoyed. Or sorry, if you missed them, there's always next year. Even though Ecclesall Stadium is under renovation, I think it's safe to say that everyone was very happy to return to Ecclesall Stadium. It just felt right. And the track and fields look beautiful. Beneath the blue sky. Thank you to all our honorary coaches, CPS Sports Administration team members, Mickey Pruitt, NFL team member of the Chicago Bears, and Super Bowl winning Dallas Cowboys, and Eddie Curry, MLB team member of the Houston Astros. Congratulations to Matt O'Shea, Anne McGlugberg Award winner, and Vidham Park, the Keith Magnuson Spirit Award winner. Now that you know what's happened, you probably want to know what is happening. Special Olympics National Games will be held in Orlando, Florida in June of 2022. The following athletes are representing Chicago. Matthew Buck from Mount Greenwood, who is doing swimming. Matthew Downer of Independence Park, also swimming. Karen Murotek of Mount Greenwood, Bachi. 
Kenneth Oakton of Benham Park, also bocce. Keith Kajigosi of Shabona Park, also doing bocce as well. Corey Williams of Gage Park, flag football. Christian O'Reilly of Shabona Park, also flag football. Peter Hurl of Shabona Park, also flag football. Matthew Groski of Shabona Athletics. Isaiah Cunningham of Cos Park, powerlifting. James Naughton of Shabona, also powerlifting. And Mount Greenwood's head coach, Lisa Wazinski, will be the assistant coach for golf. Special Olympics Children's Charity is proud to sponsor send-off parties at each of the athletes' parks for our athletes, families, coaches, and many of our Special Olympics Chicago athletes are looking forward to participating in the Special Olympics Summer State Games in Normal, Illinois. The Chicago Park District continues to offer a variety of sports and recreation events for our Special Olympics athletes along with their families and friends. Intramural golf will continue in June. That is only one of the sports being offered to our athletes. The intramural program has been well received by all. A new offering, Adventure Club kicks off this summer at Northerly Island. Events will be co-hosted by the SCC Associate Board, the Athlete Leadership Council, and the High School Board. Exciting events will take place throughout the summer, including an overnight camping adventure on Northerly Island. Many events include opportunities for families to join in. Check out our website for details. Thank you for watching our sports report. Tune into Can TV to watch our show every month. Be inspired and make plans to join us at any of our Special Olympics events. Thank you for watching this show. I'm Carter Sanders, and I hope to see you on the field and go Special Olympics Chicago in Orlando.